Hey gang, okay, so I may have told a teeny little bit of a lie. So we have this video and two more, so three reactions. But the best part is, this one does not require a mechanism. The other two, you pretty much know the biggest chunks of the mechanisms. So stick with me, we can get through these means together. Okay, so kind of similar to what we did in OCHEM 1, right? We're gonna do what's called a Hoffman elimination. And what's kind of cool is, you know, we are forming a double bond. We are doing an elimination reaction. So this really isn't, you know, brand new to us. Just kind of a different setting. So there's one kind of principle that's going to drive this Hoffman elimination. So let me just draw an example for you guys. One, two, three, five, six. Okay. Mm. All right. So what I just tried to do, ugh, hold on. Okay, so what I just tried to do here, guys, let me just see threes. Okay, so what I just drew for you guys is a cyclic amine, right? And this amine consists of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven elements, right? But not only is it a cyclic amine, but, right, it's a quaternary amine, and this would be what, right? It would be part of an ammonium salt, right? Salt if we had some type of counter ion like, I don't know, OH minus or Br minus, I minus, something like that, right? Okay. If you guys see the reagents, silver, uh, silver oxide with water paired with some heat, here's kind of the deal. Anytime you have this ammonium salt, this quaternary amine, right? there's no way of eliminating that positive charge, right? It's stuck there. However, this is kind of a nice way to do an elimination reaction, and more specifically, what we would call a Hoffman elimination in the world of amines, right? So the only way to kind of uh, get rid of that positive charge is if we do an elimination reaction. We can't just pick off a hydrogen here and dump electrons onto nitrogen. So no mechanism here, but basically what you're going to do is someone is going to lose a hydrogen and some bond is going to break and a double bond is going to be formed. So let me kind of show you what the pattern is going to be. Let me draw a nitrogen right here, the CH3s. Basically, right here, this bond or this bond will break. Let's just say this bond right here. This bond is going to break. It's going to cleave. A double bond will form here. The ring is going to break open. So what I'm going to do is number the elements in my ring. Nitrogen would be 1, this carbon would be 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So the bond between 1 and 7, nitrogen and carbon is going to break. We're going to form a double bond between 6 and 7 with these reagents because given right heat, heat favors elimination, right? Crank up the temperature, elimination products are favored. So one on the nitrogen, right? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Double bond between the six and seven. So what's key to a Hoffman elimination is that you need an ammonium salt, right? Because nitrogen is electronegative. He likes electrons. This is a pathway if he doesn't have some hydrogen to pick off and dump electrons on him, right? We can cleave an, a carbon-nitrogen bond by forming a carbon-carbon double bond and through that eliminate a positive charge on him while also making an alkene in the process. Okay guys, so it's kind of weird because you know we're not really going into the mechanism but I'm just going to do one more example and you guys can also check out the examples on the worksheet. But first, one more example. So to kind of get a little bit more practice about this, uh, predicting the product, let's look no further than right here. Okay, so you can see we already have an amine with a positive charge. And in fact, right, we would say that this is, would be part of an ammonium salt, right? This is the ammonium part because we have a quaternary amine. Right, let's say we, we, you know, we have this Ag2O, water and heat, right? Heat favors elimination, and these are the reagents that's going to help us get there. Okay, well, here's my instinct, right? I think we're gonna break the ring and go straight chain. And here's what we would kind of expect, right? 
I'm going to kind of number the ring. Let's give nitrogen one, this carbon two, three, four, five, and six. Doesn't matter if we go uh, make the double bond at one and two or one and six, but I'm thinking the ring is going to open up. So I'm going to say, let's draw this nitrogen at the end with these two ethyl groups. Okay? We have the two ethyl groups and the nitrogen. So let's go ahead. Nitrogen, nitrogen is the first element in this ring. So let's draw two through six. So nitrogen is one, two, three, four, five, six. And let's just make the double bond on the end because that's where the ring would have cleaved. Okay, so we don't see silver too much in organic chemistry. That's kind of your tip off that you're going to have a Hoffman elimination. Remember, you need to have a situation with nitrogen having a positive charge because in addition to the heat favoring elimination, one of the driving forces is that this elimination helps alleviate this positive charge.